Hey guys, A28 Find Adventure. I've got a new dash cover that I'm going to try out in the Tundra. I also have one of these in the Honda Ridgeline and in the Subaru. And um, I really like the look of it. Uh, this one is a um, it's by Dash Designs. And it has a special color to it and pattern. And I'll tell you what, I'll list that right now. And they look really good. Now, you can still stick patches to this, like my other dash cover. Um, that's kind of like a carpet. Uh, you just have to kind of press them on. Kind of like people who put them on their headliner. It kind of goes on the same way. But um, So this here by uh, Dash Designs is a really awesome dash cover. So uh, let's get this thing installed. So check this out. It's got this really neat, I don't know if you can see that pattern to it it's not um i think they call this the sedona suede this this pattern right here in black and i have the same one on all three of my vehicles uh it is the sedona suede black and so it gives this nice i don't know if you can see that texture there's like it's like little perforations it's kind of like your leather seats in uh in some cars but it's this nice i don't know kind of velour cloth i don't know it looks like feels like suede so anyhow let's um let's get this thing installed let's see what it looks like let's do it okay so the first thing i gotta do is take off this mount right here this is my rago mount it's a dash mount so i can mount all these things which are ram mounts and i've got different branded ones but uh to hold my phone uh ipad gopro camera anything if you're interested in something like this, I'll put a link under the video in the description. Uh, it's really handy. Uh, only thing I had to do to install this phone mount was pull this head unit out, which was just a couple of 10 millimeter bolts, um, set it on a towel. I drilled one hole right through there. And, uh, and that was it to bolt it on, just one little, one little screw. And then I put it all back. It was pretty easy. Um, I will tell you, if you're worried about drilling a hole, it goes right here where you would like the little scooped out area is for you to like sit your phone. And that comes with the rubber mat on it from the factory anyways. So I have that mat, you know, I saved it. And so if I ever sell this and want to keep this mount, I can just replace that rubber mat. No one will ever know that there's a little bitty hole drilled there. That's it. So, you know, just in case you're interested in that. But anyways, let's go ahead and uh, remove this. My little craftsman tools here. This will be easy. I'm just going to do this. And then I'm going to sit this on the floor of the vehicle. Set that down there. This plate, I'm not going to mess with it. That's going to stay. This hole here, I cut out. I'm going to do it a little differently this time. I'm just going to cut out this little small section down here. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So let's do that. And let's see, this thing just comes off like this. Whew, it's a little dusty. Let me get a little microfiber and clean that up. <clears throat> Dusty. Dusty with all this pollen floating around. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this on there.
Okay, so now we've got it on there just perfect. If you don't have a mount up here on your dash, this will sit kind of in that concave bolt out section. Um, since mine is here, I'm going to outline it with a Sharpie and then I'm going to cut it out. I'm also going to mark where the speakers are and I'm going to cut out squares or circles for the left and right next to the uh, A pillar here so the speaker sound comes out. That's a little something you have to do, you know, depending on how loud you like to hear your stereo. Another thing, what it shows you in the directions that come with this is that you put the Velcro tape on the back side here and then you stick it down. That works great. Just make sure you clean the dashboard where you're going to put that double stick Velcro down. If you don't and you've got some sort of uh, armor all or some sort of dash cleaning stuff on there, the tape won't stick. And if you open your door in the wind, this thing will just blow right out because they're really lightweight. But uh, so anyways, let's get to cutting some holes. And I know it's new and I should be scared to do that to a new product in case I mess it up. But hey, you only live once, right? Okay, let's get this dash mat out of here and get it cut. Okay, so now we're going to reinstall this. Got some fuzz on here I want to get off because it'll bother me. Alrighty. Now that I got my speaker holes cut out, I'm going to line up the, the front edge of the dashboard first. You can see I'm doing this. That's so I can get all the Velcro lined up properly. Get everything lined up where it needs to go. And then just work across, push it, pushing it down, and then eventually you'll have it. It'll be all squared away. Let's see here. Okay, we got this down now. All right, let's see what's next. I'm gonna dust this off. Pollen, every time I open my windows, pollen gets really into everything. Just like that, there we go. And put these in here loosely. All right. This is this is doing good here. Looks good. Yeah, I like that. Good job. Good job. I get the speakers open a little more. Let's see what we got here. I can't play this on YouTube or they won't let me upload the video without some copyright infringement. So I'm going to listen to it, see if it sounds better with some holes cut out of this. And, um, you know, this, this truck has speakers in the doors and everywhere. So I really didn't notice. I really didn't notice too much. So, you know, this is, um, 
this should be a little bit of an improvement, but I don't have a JBL stereo. I don't have any any other stereo with an amp. Um, that's coming soon. Plug and play amp. So stay tuned. Anyways, let me listen to this. All right, guys, I've got this mounted. I've got to tighten these screws. Let's do that. Let's get them hand tight first. Then I'm just going to snug them down. I don't ever try to over tighten anything. Just, just snug. It's good enough. You don't want to strip any bolts. That's a pain. Uh, so anyways, all this is good. Phone mounts here. This is a phone mount by Hondo Garage. I've had it since I've had the Tacoma. Works great. Um, they make them mostly for motorcycles, but it worked great on the, the uh, Tacoma with a mount I had to the vent, and then it worked great on the Tundra here with this Rago mount. This thing is great and very stable. You know, um, I'll put a link to these under the video in the description if you want to source them. Rago has their own website. Hondo Garage does. Um, Dash Designs, the maker of this dash mat that I really like, this nice, smooth, custom suede look. Looked great in the other vehicles, the Subaru and the Ridgeline. That's why I got one for the Tundra. The difference between this and the one I had, the other one was kind of a carpet fuzzy, kind of held a lot of dust and dirt, but it also picked some up. They both cut the glare. This one just has a nicer custom look to it, kind of like uh, going from cloth to leather seats, even though this is just kind of a, a fake suede. Um, but anyways, it's really nice. It's called the uh, Sedona suede, and this is in black. So it's a good color cuts down on the glare which is really what i'm after on long drives but that's that's what i got um anyways uh links under the video check out the merch like share and subscribe i'd really appreciate it and uh you know i will see you next time see ya